This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creative dojo.net. Welcome to another After Effects quick tip video. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to kind of create this split up text or split up logo animation right within After Effects. We'll be using some few techniques that involve layer maps. So this will be kind of a great primer on how to use layer maps to drive animations and displace things right within After Effects. We'll be using a few different techniques to kind of add to your arsenal. Let's go ahead and get started. So here I have a new comp, the basic background. I created a tutorial on how to create beautiful gradients within After Effects, the link will be in the description down below. Um, but I'm gonna change the color to something a little bit different so we have some variation between the original demo as well as the new tutorial demo here. And so now we have a background, let's go ahead and bring in our logo or type in our text. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to layer, new text, and I'm just gonna type in split this up, for example. Go ahead and resize everything a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and center it in the composition. Now this can be a logo, this can be a graphic, this could be whatever you want. Um, but in this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and just type some text so it's a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this text layer or logo, go ahead and pre-compose this. We'll move all attributes into the new composition and we'll just call this logo, and then hit okay. So now if you ever need to change our text or add in different graphics or logos, we can go into the comp and change it in here and it will kind of procedurally update within the composition. Cool. So now that we have our logo kind of imported in, I wanna create a black and white layer to kind of tell After Effects what to displace and what to do with the pixels. So that is basically a layer map within After Effects. And I'm gonna create that black and white layer using shape layers. So you can do this with anything, uh, but I find that if, for simple cases like text layers or logos, a shape layer works very well. So make sure that nothing is selected in your timeline. Go ahead and go to the rectangle tool up here. And let's go ahead and drag a nice big shape around the whole background. Make sure that the fill color is set to white. And I'm gonna call this right, for example. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select my shape layer again. I'm going to turn off the visibility of my first shape. And I'm gonna draw a second shape just in the area that I wanna split things up. So right around here, I wanna split up the split text. And we'll change this color to a black. I'm gonna delete the stroke, just kind of clean things up here. And we'll call this shape left. I'm gonna go into the right shape and just kind of delete the stroke just to kind of clean things up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the visibility for the right shape once again. So basically I created a shape layer. Let's go ahead and call this map. And I have a left shape, which is a black rectangle. And then a right shape, which is pretty much the background. So now this black and white shape layer is gonna tell After Effects, hey, all of pickles in the black region, let's do something with it. And then everything on the white region area, do the exact opposite to that region basically with the pixels. And this can be a lot of things. This could be time displacement. This could be you know, position displacement. It can affect the opacity, so on and so forth. But basically the black and white values do kind of separate things. And then everything in the middle is kind of in between. So like a mid gray will have no change basically. And that's very, very important to know. So now that we have our map layer created using shape layers, let's go ahead and turn off the map layer. We don't actually need to see it because After Effects can see and read the data without making it visible. I'm gonna go to my logo layer and I'm gonna apply a displacement map. It'll be under distort. We'll drag it into our logo and I'm gonna go ahead and tell After Effects, hey, this, the displacement map is the map layer that we created. I'm gonna to go to effects and mask, make sure that those are accounted for for the displacement map. And in this particular case, we're using a black and white map, which is based on the luminance. So I'm gonna go ahead and change all these to luminance. We want it to read the black and white data values. And for this particular case, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the max horizontal displacement for now. And so we're only working on the vertical displacement. So we can actually um, increase this and you'll see what's happening. So it's reading the black and white data and it's you know, manipulating the pixels and the position of things and displacing it based on that black and white data, just like this. So one thing you can do is you can actually animate this and that could work very, very well. Another thing you can do is actually animate the actual colors of the map, remember, because this whole thing is driven by the luminance or the black and white values of the map. So if we go in here, we turn on the map, let's go ahead and go into the fill color of the left side We'll hit a keyframe. We'll also go into the fill of the white side, hit a keyframe. 
we'll go ahead and move three fourths of a second into the timeline and i'm going to change these fill colors to a mid gray and remember mid gray doesn't displace anything so the white values will go this way the black values will go the other way and anything in between will kind of you know fill in the rest but at a mid gray there really is no change there is no displacement and so you can achieve a perfect mid gray by going to hsb right here and go ahead and set the brightness to 50. that will create a perfect gray and we do the same exact thing for the right side so go into the 50 percent here hit okay so now our layer map goes from this black and white displacement and then eventually over time it fades to a gray and at this point, you can expect to see no displacement. So just by doing this, we can go into our logo, kind of show it again. And you'll see that our logo is being split up and animated just based on the color. So we're actually not even animating the displacement right here. And the displacement is being controlled by the color. And this can be very, very powerful if you have more complex scenes. Um, you can add a whole bunch of things, for example. Right now, it's just a basic black and white kind of cut out, but you can add effects like fractal noise. That will give you a little bit different look. You can even add, for example, a checkerboard effect to create kind of like a checkerboard. We can increase this. So the checkerboard effect doesn't necessarily create a black and white map value. It creates a white and transparent map. Um, so you can fill the transparent areas with like a CC composite or something like that to create a black and white map. Um, or you can go to the logo. I'll show it again. And you can see it uses the white values to kind of displace everything. You can create some pretty interesting, cool distortion effects, digital glitches, stuff like that. Um, you can change it to use the alpha channel. That will give you kind of a different look and you can kind of split things up this way. And this is all with using the single map layer, um, either using the luminance channel, that black and white data, or the alpha channel, which is the transparency data to kind of drive animations this way. And this can be very, very powerful. Um, but for simple cases like this, we can easily just kind of go back to luminance and animate just the displacement. I'm gonna delete the checkerboard. So we have something like this. We can delete these colored keyframes and just keep the same base black and white values. And we can just easily animate the displacement to let's say 700. Um, hit a keyframe, we'll move three fourths of a second in, set it to zero. Hit UU on the keyboard to show the displacement keyframes and we can add a nice little ease with my Dejo E script. And that will create kind of a nice little transition that way just like this and you can get more fancy with it you can add more cuts in your map and you know move different things around you can go ahead and add horizontal displacement and animate things in from left to right for example then the actual original demonstration to add a kind of like an overshoot bounce effect or an elastic effect and i'm doing this with dan eberts the godfather of after effects expressions and resources with his expression from motion script links will be down below in the video description but i converted these to kind of linear keyframes because it does use the velocity of the keyframes to kind of drive all this and i find that it's a little bit easier with linear keyframes i'm gonna go ahead and apply a quick expression um, and that will kind of add a nice little elastic bounce to everything as you'll see here so a little bit slow, we can go ahead and decrease the timing and then you'll create kind of this nice little bounce right here. Now I will say if you're using this just on text layers, you could use like a range selector and text animators and get fancy with expressions to do all that stuff. Um, it can get very, very complicated, especially for simple stuff like this. But I did create a very, very powerful and handy type preset called Typeflow. And it's basically a very, very fancy expression driven rig to create really nice, elastic, bouncy um, text animations like this very, very quickly using control layer. Check it out down below. It's called Typeflow. If you want to do it with actual effects and displacement maps, this is a really cool way of doing it. It can get very, very powerful if you add stuff like factor noise and stuff like that. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks for sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is a one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make the way you want it to look like without having any code and knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support. And best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojos. Check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.